Hello everyone, welcome to the final week of the Let's Play Bingo. What? I am your I told you this last week, come on. I am your host, Zalaz, and with me as always is my lovely co-host, Holly. You said I was lovely. I lied. Oh. I now, what we have here is our hard game for the bingo competition, our final space, and... Who's disturbing who? No one will disturb her quiet time. Patchouli is satisfied. But now... Marissa's challenge begins. Marissa! So in case you didn't quite get the references, this is actually a Toho fan game. Mega Mari, Marisa no Yabao. Or Marissa's ambition. Marissa's still the precious thing. Now, this is a game modeled a lot after the NES Mega Man games. Like, as you can see, there's a password, a traditional password screen here. With mushrooms. Yeah. There are a lot of mushrooms in this game. So we're gonna use a very easily remembered password. It's like a cross. cross. And we're already down to only two uh, robot masters or Toho bosses, as it were. Uh, first up, we're going up against uh, Yuko, who is a ghost girl. Oh, the cute little wisps and the scary fairies. Scary fairies. <laughs> they rhymed. But, yeah, their respective stages aren't that difficult, per se. Oh, except the fact that uh, this game kind of fires more bullets at you than what you would probably normally expect in a Mega Man game, fan game or not. I feel like this is a Toho game. Yep, so... Be they're gonna have a whole bunch of bullets and they're all gonna be pretty. I like pretty to call it pretty bu bullets. Yeah. Okay, that's how I refer to Toho games, pretty bullets. Because they are really pretty whenever they start firing. Mm -hmm. And it was so... It's, so pretty, and it's like, how do you, like, not die? You just, well, the bullets typically move in a very slow fashion, and you have a small hitbox. Now, as you can see, those crows are perched there to... Well, how did you to... switch characters? Yeah, um, a nifty thing about this fan game is that there are actually two characters to play with. We have the witch Marisa, and the doll master and my personal favorite Toho, uh, Alice, who uses lasers to tear through her foes. Her laser, called the Mirage Illusion, I believe, tear, um, goes through enemies, but is actually weaker than Marissa's default shot. Well, I mean, I, I could see why. A laser is kind of a cheat weapon for long ranges, and it's like you can just constantly hold it down and it'll just be constant. Yeah. But let's draw off some of these other special attacks. Whoa, that mushroom looks kind of delicious. It's like a button mushroom. I like mushrooms. Yep. So what we saw there was the uh, spell tags that we get from defeating the Raymu boss in this game. Raymu. And get the mushroom. Nice mushroom goodness. Yum yum yum. So yeah, the mushrooms actually heal up your life while the little star jewels or whatever that some that maybe sometimes drop, those actually refill your weapon energy. Oh those blue diamond things? Yes. Okay. So uh, we're seeing right now me using the bloody cross, a weapon that you get from defeating uh, Romelia Scarlet. You've heard of her, haven't you? Yes, Romelia Scarlet. She's the, uh... The, the vampire lady. The vampire lady. She's a sister, right? Who's, who's pretty much crazy. Yeah. Crazy. You and Owen was her. So, we also have this annoying fairy who's really big. But Why couldn't you play Saku Sakuya's uh, level? Oh, because we already have her weapon. We'll see that in a bit. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and not try to get hit by that fuzzball. 
There are a lot Cute. of bug balls in this game. Wisps. They are called wisps. No, well, those are... The wisps are those, like, little floating disembodied soul things. Yeah. I think of wisps like... Like, like pollen. That's what I think about. Pollen, you know this. Oh, God. Hazard. Ugh. I hate that. I hate disappearing blocks. I hate everything. Those yep. things. Oh my gosh, Yoku Man. <laughs> Such a lie, isn't it? Such a lie. My life is a lie now. Thanks. You're not even playing. Everything I own, everything I've loved, is a lie. Huh? You're not seriously saying it. Oh. Obstacle in a game is, you know. Causing you to question it your is. life. Really, sometimes when a game speaks to you, you think about these kinds of things. That's depressing. No, no, I'd say, <laughs> no, I'd say that with, no, it's deep. Except it's not deep. It's actually it's like it's like three feet deep, like kiddie pool deep, or is it hot tub deep? Now, what we have here is a big snowball that doesn't work against that guy. So we're just going to use a little bloody cross. As you could tell, that. No, uh, well, that enemy was a reference to one of the enemies in Mega Man 1. One of those red jumping things that took off a lot of health when they hit you. And this is Yuko, the ghost girl who huh. likes to fade in and out and <sighs> generate uh, butterflies and butterflies and souls. Things and... So she plays kind of like a woodman from Mega Man 2, except you know a lot more. Flashier. Uh, oh, no. yeah. Oh, see, pretty bullets, see? Your oh, hitbox is like your whole body, isn't it? No, it's actually like a little small part of it. Now, what we've been using. Oh, he's already dead. How'd you kill her? Uh, well, if you were paying attention, I was actually summoning uh, meteors from the sky. It's this thing called Force Crisis that I got from fighting off. Uh, Aiden. Uh, okay, it was like I didn't even know what you were using. Yeah, it has like a really weird. So uh, wait, wait, wait. So if you beat the boss with uh, Marissa, do you get a power for her? Yeah. But That's th what. It, then you, if you beat it with your other character, you get a power for them. You just saw me beat her with uh, Alice. Alice. So I got the power up for Alice. So wait. So. They don't get. They don't both get it at the same no, time. No, no, no. It's whoever picks up the power up orb after the the boss is defeated. What the flame? It's no, like, not not necessarily. I feel gonna... like it's so uneven. I want them all to have it, but I can I can see why. You have to really think about it, you know. Who's that Toho character? Oh, the one on the boat. That is Komachi. She is uh, a barrier. Yeah, barrier for the river. Um, Sanzu or Styx, if you're familiar with Greek mythology. So she's gonna take us across this river into. Did you give her money? Um, Holly, I'm a thief. I'm not gonna give anyone money. But why are you such a thief? Why? Why, why is well, she a thief? If you were paying attention to the opening scroll of the game, my entire uh, goal for really this game is just. You know the steel stuff from. I know, Julie. but wh but why is she a thief in general? Because I don't know. It's Toho. The good guys don't necessarily have to be good guys. Now, what we're seeing here is the uh, barrier weapon that we got from Yuko, and it is actually one of the most useful uh, shield type weapons in any Mega Man game I've played. You can actually uh, shoot it out twice to increase the size of your uh, soul barrier. But okay. kind of, as you can see, we've already run out, of, almost run out of power from using it so much. Uh, it's it's very, I guess you could say, nice. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that one, but oh well. I mean, it's no uh, nail shield, but it'll do. It'll do. That'll do. Now we're gonna have to go up this rather lengthy stairwell, mm -hmm. stair, stair uh, thing, thing. <laughs> right. Uh, this is like I'm gonna keep jumping. These enemies seem, ugh, they're so annoying, and I'm not even the one that's playing. 
This they is are really, pretty annoying. really making me mad. Um, you know those zinging orbs that keep rolling down? Those things can take up about, like, a, about a third of your health bar. But you can, like, jump on them, right? Yeah. And they don't hurt you if you jump on them? Yeah, but you gotta really time your jumps, otherwise... You get uh, hit, and yeah. ran over, and die. You did. Hey, look, it's those... It's the Poltergeist sisters. Poltergeist sisters. Lunasa, uh, Merlin, and... What's her face? Wow, they're like their 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 attack is like hypnotic. I like to I, I just want to stare at it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not good at Toho games. I've tried playing one, and I'm too busy staring at the pretty bullets to really concentrate on what I'm doing, and I die. Well, then this game Every is time. definitely not for you because it throws out so many bullets in your face. See, so. look at this. See, this is like gonna make me have a oh, we got an extra seizure. Line. Yeah, you. Really, like, I don't know how anyone could really do a uh, so-called minimalist run where someone doesn't use any weapons and they don't get hit at all, because so many bullets are thrown at you at once. You're gonna so. get hit no matter what. You might as well just take um tank the hits, or you know take it really slow. But that would also go against the minimalist sort of uh, speedrun mentality. You want to get it done as fast as you can without, you know, using anything, right? Yeah. Well, then again, though, I'm no hide of beast, so I really wouldn't know. <laughs> um, so we're coming up to this boss battle. Have I told you the boss for this one? Uh-uh, no. Oh, this it's is... It's a little uh, girl. Oh, this is Yomu, the samurai garden, uh, gardener. Oh, okay. Girl. And she has a spirit, too? She's a half-ghost. Half-ghost? Yeah, and that's like her ghost half. What we're using right here is, uh... She died? I don't really know. Oh, well, anyways. <laughs> what we were, you, we're, what we're using right now is Sakuya's weapon. Oh. Thousand knives. It stops time and throws knives at your enemy's face. And it's actually her weakness. And that weapon is pretty awesome, and it should be the best one out of the whole game. I'm just letting you know that. It... You can only use it, like, four times before it runs out of energy. Because it's so awesome! Normally, if you don't weaken Yomu first, uh, that'll only get her, like, really mad into her desperation mode, actually. Uh, which is why we weakened her a bit with, uh, Aaron. No, not Aaron. Um, Alice. Sorry. Okay, okay. We were using Alice's Shanghai doll. What? So we're already at Pachuli, the final, you know, castle for this sort of Mega Man game. But before we go in, I'm going to be using another password. I mean, we saw quite a bit of uh, Alice's weaponry, but I also have a password to make it to where we can see more of Marissa's weapons. Because before, not like a few years ago, I was actually playing this, but I get, used to give all the, my weapons to Marissa so Alice wouldn't have any weapons. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute little hut. So, but they don't, doesn't she live in the uh, Scarlet Mansion, though? She rearranged her library. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, she rearranged re her library so Marissa wouldn't steal anything from her. Yep. This is some... And this is the rearranged library. Cray cray. Oh, goodness. Yep. So let's see what some of the differences here are. So first off, this is Marissa's ice weapon. You don't summon a giant snowball. You shoot a bunch of... Uh, icicles? Yep. It's like an icicle machine gun. It's actually called an ice vulcan. But, yep. It's really kind of weak. Not that useful. Uh, so instead of summoning comets... You sum summon orbs that go into an L shape and they just kind of curve with the... With the bottom, yeah, but they're really powerful. Kind of destroyed that machine thing that was lobbing large uh, shots at us in one hit. So what else do we have? Okay, so instead of the soul barrier, we have we can shoot butterflies. Butterflies? Uh, oh, was really that was powerful bu butterflies? Oh, whose weapon was that one? Uh, they're Yuyuko. Oh yeah, I saw her use those. Yep. And yeah. they're like blue though. Deadly butterflies. I have, I've, I've seen it all now. <laughs> it's Toho, Holly. Butterflies. Go, my minions! Now what I like about, uh, 
Alice's default weapon is, although it's like piddly weak, it actually tears through the shields of the uh, Prison River Poltergeist sisters. Because normally you can't really shoot through them with Marissa's weapon unless you like get really close, like I did right there. Like sh shoot them point blank. Yeah. So instead of the spell tags, we have the Yin Yang orb. Just bounces along the ground like that. And those things can actually destroy those enemy Yin Yang orbs in one hit, while as normally it'd take like about ten shots to kill with your normal buster. I'm not sure why they put crows over there. They just always fly down. Because it adds to the effect. It's like, ah, oh, you're going up really high, and there's gonna be birds, because, you know, birds like high places. So this is the weapon we got from, uh, Yomu. Oh, the, the ghost, half-ghost lady sword? Yeah. We got sword slashes. It's a very wide-range weapon, but it doesn't have a very long range, it's, and it's, it's actually kind of weak. I mean, you're taking these out pretty well, I mean, I guess because they're really weak enemies. Yeah, but you have to get really close to get them. Um, we don't really need to do deal with these spirits. They remind me of, like, cotton candy. Oh my gosh, you know what sounds good right now? What? Cotton candy. Cotton candy? That's yeah, it's like... Too sweet. Did you know they named... They, it's called Fairy Floss? Fairy Floss? Yeah. That's somewhat relevant to what we're doing right now, <laughs> um, actually. There was this one time at school, this girl brought a little mini cotton candy machine, and we had we had cotton candy, and like on the rim of it, mm -hmm. they had like uh, hardened oh crap lasers. Oh goodness! Well, anyways, they had these the, the uh, crystallized sugar that's mm -hmm. on the sides, and it was like like I don't know like stop candy, candy. hammer what? time. No, it was like a mushroom can. Honey. See, like in this. <laughs> You scared me. <laughs> yeah, uh, in this game there are actually different kinds of cans. The mushroom cans uh, do the same thing as the E tanks from Mega Man. I was like, say candy is like a mushroom candy. Uh, What's wrong with me? But yeah, they fill up your health completely, and there are also like these star cans, which act like the M tanks from Mega, Mega Man. Man. Not the M tanks, the W tanks from Mega Man. Gosh, Billy. M is for mini, W is for Wumbo. But they fill up your uh, weapon energy completely. And there's also the rare mushroom and star tanks, which, you know, fill up health and weaponry. So is other. she the first mid-boss? Who is that? This is the first castle boss. This is, uh... Dude, they're this? like spazzing out. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yukari and her two Shikigamis, Ran and Chen. Um, but yeah, Yukari is actually one of the most powerful characters in the Toho universe, and as such what? has That's one of the hard, one of the hardest boss fights in this dang game. As you can see, there are a bunch of platforms floating around, and one wrong move will send you plumbing to your death. And also, those little two little days that are having a seizure that's going around in a circle. You can actually destroy them. Are you going to do it? Uh, probably not. It takes about two missile hits to kill, like, the weakest one. The red one, Chen, you know? Mm-hmm. It looks a little smaller. And she actually moves a little slower and fires less. See? You really took care of her. Oh, look at there. Ran over there, though, she... I don't... She takes about three or four missiles. Hmm. But we're not gonna bother with her. The other thing that makes, uh, Ikari so hard to deal with is that you, don't, you like, literally have three seconds to hit her before she... Uh, disappears again in the background. Gosh, this game is like giving me a headache. <laughs> I swear. That's too over, yeah. I, I only just I don't watch it. I cannot play it. The, the the platforms all moving and stuff, and she's already dead. Oh my gosh, she like blows up. Like you know those epic car crashes, like in movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it was. It's like it falls off a cliff. It goes a bagoosh. Because, you know, car crashes is what they sound like. A bagoosh. A bagoosh. Yes. And, well, that's all we have for Mega Mari. I mean, there are also, you know, a few more stages in uh, Patchouli's Castle. But we're already at <laughs> nearly the 20-minute mark, so I think we've shown enough of it already. Uh, so, 
This has been Zalaz, and... This is Holly. And we hope you enjoyed our entries in the Let's Play Bingo. Thank uh, you for liking us. <laughs> yeah, we may not have won, but it was a good... It was it was good fun, you know. It was it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me be on here, and thank you for listening to me talk. <laughs> so self-centered, Holly. Oh, shut your face. Be expecting more Let's Plays from us soon. But for now, we out. Yay! Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye.